If you've arrived here, it's probably that you have a lot of testosterone levels. If you would like to find out how to deal with this problem, you have to stick to the end of this video. Does your sexual drive recently shrink? Lacking the willpower to get out of the bed in the morning? Struggling with weight gain, loss of muscle, and you are unable to concentrate on your work? You almost certainly have signs of low testosterone. Daily stress from life might cause testosterone levels to drop. Also, what you eat can do the same thing. I mean, it's possible that you are eating some foods that are best defined as destroying testosterone. While certain foods like oysters, eggs, and olive oil can all help to boost testosterone levels as we mentioned in the previous video, you'll find the link in the box of description. But are you aware that are several foods can actually eat to reduce the amount of this important hormone production in your body? And consistently eating these foods over time can hurt your testosterone levels and break the hormonal balance in your body. So based on scientific proofs, I would like to outline some foods that can minimize your testosterone levels. Starting first with soy products. The issue with soy products is it contains significant quantities of compounds known as phytoestrogen. This substance is imitate the effect of the female hormone, the estrogen. Unfortunately, these compounds will stimulate estrogen receptors every time you consume soy products, causing the effect of the female hormone, the estrogen. Furthermore, these chemicals will also inhibit the activation of androgen receptors, which will interfere with your body's testosterone production. By the news, man, there is no such good thing to use soy products for us. Let's take a look at this study in 2013 from the Journal of the American College Nutrition. Scientists determined that men who consume 20 grams of soy protein isolate per day for two weeks had lower testosterone levels than those who consumed whey protein isolate or a placebo. Let's move to vegetable oils or which known as cooking oils. These include things like soybean oils, vegetable oil, corn oil or sunflower oil. These oils have a number of drawbacks that make them dangerous, not just for sex hormones, but also for your overall health. Begin with hydrogenation to improve the flavor, taste, texture, and storability. Also, they contain a high quantity of polyunsaturated fat and contain high levels of free radicals, which causes a variety of chronic illness. This study from the Journal of Nutrition and Cancer showed a solid link between men with low degrees of testosterone and polyunsaturated fat intake. Another issue with these cooking oils is they contain huge quantities of omega-6, which is harmful to your body when consumed consistently and over time. Yeah, omega-6 is necessary for your body, but with a tiny quantities and it is beneficial in comparison to omega-3 fatty acids, you have to balance between omega-6 and omega-3. The optimal ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids is one to one, and should not exceed 2 to 1, due to the fact that omega-6 can cause chronic inflammation when consumed in large quantities, which leads to oxidative aging. In addition to this, the Asian Journal of Andrology published in 2017, consuming excessive omega-6 can diminish not just testosterone production but also testicular size and function. So, you can use olive oil, avocado oil, or coconut oil as an alternative to these vegetable oils. And before moving on to the next one, don't miss to hit that red subscribe button, follow it by the bell icon to never miss a bit. Moving on to flax seeds, this might be surprising for you, because you already know that flax seeds are in the category of superfoods, because it's contained a large quantity of omega-3 which is beneficial for your overall health. Also, it contains a great ratio of omega-3 to omega-6. This superfood can turn to testosterone killer. Why? Because it's packed with a high amount of lignans. It contains about 75 to 800 times more lignin than most grains, legumes, fruits, and vegetables, which assist in decreasing testosterone in a variety of ways. Flax seeds inhibit testosterone from switching to dehydrotestosterone, which is a powerful androgen that can enhance testosterone's benefits. As an example, when a 14 male volunteer were given just two teaspoons of flax seeds for a month, their testosterone levels dropped by approximately 10%. A study found that a lady with high testosterone levels also had abnormal facial hair development. 
Researchers advised her to consume 30 grams of flax seeds daily for four months in order to deal with it. She thereafter saw a 70% decrease in serum testosterone levels and an 89% decrease in free testosterone. Comes in next, sugar. This one should be at the top of the list because this one is a catastrophe. I stopped eating sugar since 2017 because I know it's associated with a ton of health issues such as diabetes, obesity, kidney and liver disease, high blood pressure, cholesterol, and triglycerides. And the list is too long, not just killing your testosterone production. As reported by the American Heart Association, the average American man consumes nearly twice as much sugar than is advised each day. This study in 2012 by Lisa and her colleagues find out that testosterone levels in men aged between 19 and 74 fell by up to 25 after sugar ingestion and the decline persists for up to two hours. And for those who felt deeply in love with soda and energy drinks, try to check this study in 2018 by Chin and his colleagues. They documented the consumption of sugar-sweetened beverages is significantly associated with low testosterone levels in men aged between 20 and 39 years old in the United States. At the end, if you want to keep your testosterone levels in a high degree or if you want to give it a boost, then you need to avoid these foods. And stay tuned for the next part of this video. Guys, this is Dr. Ishaq. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell so you don't miss a single episode packed full of valuable information about exercise, diet, health, and everything related to fitness, just like this one. And if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comment section.